This is going to be another tea candle heater video. I've done uh, two videos. One caught fire and one uh, blew out because I was outside. So this one here is going to be in a controlled environment and I'm going to see if it actually works. I'm going to take these candles out of their uh, aluminum holders, you know, because I think these are the ones that get caught on fire. It's not the candle itself. It's this uh, aluminum pot that they put them in. I don't know if they're called pots or what, but can't do this with one hand. But I'm going to put them in these glass things I bought at the dollar store. And uh, I'm going to light the candles let it burn for as long as possible. I'm going to check the time and I'm going to check the temperature and see if this is fact or fiction. Really, if you do burn these uh, tea candles in your house, I would take them out of these aluminum pots or whatever they are, the holders, and get you some glass ones because uh, these aluminum containers right here are really dangerous. I'm pretty sure they're the ones that got fire. You know, they caught fire, and when one of them catches fire, all four of them catch fire. So, if I was you, just a precaution, take them out of the aluminum holder and put them in a glass holder. Okay, this is going to be my controlled environment. I'm going to tighten it up a little bit. It looks like uh, all four tea candles are going. This video might be a little bit dark, but uh, let me get some light on this. There's a temperature gauge. It's right on the end. And uh, this is my living room slash projection room. I watch movies in here because I have a home uh, theater. And that's why this uh, video is probably going to be a little bit dark. I have no light in here. 75 watts, that's about it. The room's approximately, I'm thinking 15 by 20. But uh, we'll see if this uh, tea candle heater will warm it up at all. And I'll show you the, the temperature on the wall. Here's a little bit uh, before 2 o'clock. And the temperature right there, I don't know if you can see it or not. It's 64.9. I like to keep my house a little bit cool all year round. I never get it above 70. Even in the summertime, I always keep it, you know, 68 or so. But uh, it's 64, uh, there it is, 65. 65.3, that's the temperature right now. Okay, it's 229. The temperature outside is 63 degrees. So I don't want somebody to think that it's 80 degrees outside and uh, 65 in my house and it's going to heat the house up. But it's colder outside than it is inside for this experiment. Okay, it's been a half an hour. The temperature gauge, whoop. Looks like it's starting to move a little bit. I don't know if you can see that or not. It's off the end and right on the V. It's been a half an hour. All four tea lights are still going. And um, there's starting to be a smell, a hot wax smell. But maybe that's from the last time I did this or the first time because it caught fire and it filled it full of soot. I tried to clean it up a little bit, but maybe I didn't get it all. But there is starting to be a, a hot wax smell to this uh, heater. It's been a half an hour, and we'll take a look at the temperature inside the room. The temperature is uh, 66 degrees, right on the button. So it's raised a half a degree in the last 30 minutes. And it is uh, 3 o'clock. So, I don't know if you can see that. There we go. I have to put the flashlight on it. It's dark in here. 66 degrees at 3 o'clock. This is the outside temperature at uh, 331. It's 63 degrees. This is a good day to do this experiment because the high today is going to be 65 degrees. So that way somebody can't say, well, the outside temperature uh, affected the inside of your house. But it's colder outside than it is on the inside. Looks like uh, all four tea lights are going. They're all liquefied, I can tell. And uh, let me get the temperature See if you can see that. Whoop, let me take it down. So you can see it's above the O on the oven. Get my hand out of the way. So you know the temperature is starting to rise. Last time I did this uh, experiment on the inside, those uh, 
tea lights caught fire because of the aluminum base that they had. So I took them away and uh, we'll see how this is going. But it's been an hour and a half and uh, I can feel the difference in the heat. So we can get this right. It's uh, 67.8 at 3.33 I guess. We'll say that. So 67.8 degrees. Let me see if we can get it closer. There we go. See the 8. So the temperature is rising. So far this is a success, this experiment. So we're going to give it about another hour and see if the tea lights burn out. It's 4 o'clock. The temperature is 63 degrees. It hasn't changed in two hours. The high today was supposed to be 65, so we're doing pretty good. Looks like all four tea lights are going. It's four o'clock. And uh, it's been a couple hours. Let me get the uh, light here. I'm thinking the temperature is probably about 130, 135 on these uh, terracotta pots. I'm not for sure, but this is probably going to be the highest it's going to get. It's been going two hours. And uh, let's see what the room temperature is. This is a success. It will heat up a, a room. This room is 15 by 20 at least, probably even a little bit bigger than that. And we'll see how many degrees it has. Looks like 68.3 degrees. And the time's a little bit after 4 o'clock. So I think it's raised 3 degrees in 2 hours. So, these terracotta pots will warm up over it. Okay, it's uh, 410 right now. The first uh, candle went out. So these candles were burned for about um, two hours, at least two hours. One went for two hours and ten minutes, that was the fastest. And there's the temperature. I'm thinking it's probably 130. That's what I'm thinking it is on these uh, terracotta pipe uh, pots. But I have three pots inside there, so I think this was a success. And let's go take a look at the temperature. I don't think it's going to get any hotter. 68.3 degrees. at uh, 410. So this experiment was a success. So if you are going to use these uh, tea light heaters, if I was you, I'd take these aluminum things, just throw them away, get you a, a glass um, tea candle holder, take it out of that uh, aluminum tray, stick it in here, get you a barbecue lighter, And uh, just be safe. Thank you. Okay, it's uh, 410 right now. The first uh, candle went out. So these candles were burned for about um, two hours, at least two hours. One went for two hours and ten minutes. That was the fastest. And there's the temperature. I'm thinking it's probably 130. That's what I'm thinking it is on these uh, terracotta pipe uh, pots. But I have three pots inside there. So I think this was a success. And let's go take a look at the temperature. I don't think it's going to get any hot. 68.3 degrees. at uh, 410. So this experiment was a success. So if you are going to use these uh, tea light heaters, if I was you, I'd take these aluminum things, just throw them away, get you a, a glass um, tea candle holder, take it out of that uh, aluminum tray, stick it in here, get you a barbecue lighter,
and uh, just be safe. Thank you.